Welcome to LangGuardian 8.0 Network Auditing Features. In this first example, we're going to do an audit of who's been accessing a particular file on the network. So to do that, we go to Plugins, we go to Microsoft Shares, and do a search for file name. In my case, I want to do a search for people accessing a particularly sensitive product specifications file. So we just type in the name of the file. Now you can even type, LangGuardian allows you to type in either a full or part, part of the, the file name. I'm just going to do a search for product. Could select a particular time period. I wanted to search for the last 24 hours. And we are, here we have the results. So it looks like we have 10 people, 10 accesses to this file in the last 24 hours. If we hit the user button here. We get a list of users who's been, who have been accessing this particularly sensitive file. And what we can now do is we're going to save this report because it's a really useful one. So we give it a name here. Product files. Give it a description. Use accessing the product files and we save that report. And we can also drill down here because we're interested in your bill and customer support. We want to find out when this particular individual opened the file. So we can just click on the drill down option here. Looks like they've opened it to right to the file. So that's what we want to find out. We click and we drill down. And it looks like Bill here in, in um, customer support accessed the file on the 11th of June. Now, another useful auditing feature of the LangGuardian is to be able to detect users maybe removing data from the network. So we go to plugins, we go to Microsoft Shares, and again, we do the search by file name report. Now, in my case here, I want to do an audit of who has been deleting information from the sales share. So we select a delete option from the action, and in the file name, we just put in either a name of a folder or a name of a file. So I'm interested in people accessing the sales folder. We run the report. And we get a list of files here which have been deleted um, from the sales folder. Again, I want to find out who this is. We just hit the username option. We find here that Wendy in the sales department has been removing a lot of sales information from the network. So I'm going to save this report, it's a particularly useful one. Audit, sales, info. Actually, we'll call it deleted sales info. And give it a description. And we save that. Now, in this case here, it's quite a suspicious event that this particular user has deleted so much sensitive information from the network. So let's drill down on one of these to find out a little bit more about what happened. So it looks like, yes, it was a delete. We can see it here in the action option. And it deleted the file on the 11th of June. We were logged onto this machine at the time. Now, what we want to find out is actually, where is this machine plugged into the network? Because we want a full, uh, I suppose, the full amount of information about who it was, where they were plugged in, and what they did. So I'm just going to copy this IP address. I'm going to go to the plugins option again. I'm going to go to the device locator. And I'm just going to do a trace for this particular IP address. So the LangGuardian will then trace to where this particular machine is plugged into the network. So here it is here. This is the machine in question. This is its IP address. This is the switch IP address of where of the switch is plugged into what port that actual machine is plugged into, the description of the port, also VLAN ID, if we had VLAN in place, or multiple VLANs in place, and the port description. So we could now log on to this switch here and disconnect that port while we figure out why this user is removing data from the network. Another really useful auditing feature of the LangGuardian is the option to be able to check for particular application use or particular files on the network. So examples of that would be, if you wanted to find out how many access databases do we have in use, maybe 
we got AutoCAD. How many AutoCAD drawings do we store in the network? Very easy to do an audit of to get that information. So let's do a sample. We go to plugins, we go to Microsoft Shares, and we're going to do a search for a file name. In my example, I want to do an audit of any MP3 files that we've got on our network. So we just put in that MP3 and we run the report. So we have found here on our network that we have a number of MP3 files being shared. So we're going to find out who's sharing these files. We click the user button and we find out here Sean in the finance department has been storing MP3 files on our one of our, our, our um, file, file servers. I'm going to save this report, it's a really useful one to have. I'm going to call it audit. MP3 files. User sharing MP3 files. And save the report. As I mentioned, you can do a search for any type of files on the network, whether it be um, access databases, MP3 files, any type of files on the network, you just type in the extension and run your report. Somewhat related to auditing as well is uh, we've got a couple of really useful reports here to find out, well, we've got uh, hundreds of machines on the network, but can we report on how many of those are not running Windows Update? So to do that, we go to plugins, we go to the web client plugin here, it's available as an advanced report. So here you can see our system's not running Windows Update. We click on it and we run it. So we have three machines on our network not running Windows Update. And again, we could trace to where these are plugged in and we could disconnect the port. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this report as well. It's a nice one to have. Audit Windows Update. Give it a description. Running Windows Update. And then we save that report. Now, finally, the last report I want to take a look at in our auditing section is to find out we have a user on the network. We want to find out where they're logged on. We want to find out what machines they're using. So, to do that, we click on our plugins option. And we've got a range of reports here available under the identity section. Now the user, in, the user I want to do a check on is a particular user here called Andrea. I want to find out where this user has been logging on to the network. So it looks like she's based in the engineering department and she's logged on to six different machines in the last 24 hours. So we can drill down here. And we have a list of machines that she's logged on to. And further drill down will reveal the exact time that the user logged on to that particular machine. So you could do a search for either, you could do a search for, well, show me all users who have logged on to the network in the last 24 hours. So we can just put in an any. So basically we're interested in any logon names and we get a list of all the users who have logged on. So again, this is quite a useful report. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna call it audit user logons. Just give it a description. The network. Okay, so we can save that report. Now by saving the reports which I've done there is we can now go to the custom section and here's all my audit reports that I've just, just uh, created. So I can go to audit product files I can select a time period. I could say, okay, I want to look at it for the last month and I can run a report. So without having to remember what filters we use or what reports we used, you can build up a, a range of really powerful auditing reports. And to bring them all together, I'm going to go back here to our main dashboard and I'm going to add an auditing, dash, an, uh, auditing dashboard. So we click on the add option. I'm going to call this auditing. And we're going to add some reports to this. So we click the reports option. Here's my custom auditing reports. And we just drop them in here to our auditing dashboard, just like this. And we can double click. 
and we can choose to view it over a particular time period. So I'm going to look at all activity for a 24-hour period. Just like that there. Okay, we save our dashboard. So it's starting to update. Uh, normally these, these, these dashboards take about two minutes to update when you uh, set them up initially. Some of our elements here, I'm going to drop this element over here. I haven't fully updated yet, but we can start to see our auditing dashboard populated with data. We're also working on a new Microsoft SQL plugin for the Land Guardian, which allow you to report on who's accessing database and what queries they're running. So thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video. For a free Land Guardian trial, please visit our website at www.networktechnologies.com or alternatively email us at support at networktechnologies.com.